All right, with this forecast video update on this Monday, November the 22nd, this is the evening edition. I am Josh Brown. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend and also a great Monday. And I have to say, after we had some on and off showers that we have been seeing over the past few days, including this morning, uh, the coolest air is going to be coming our way as we head into the overnight hours and perhaps still be around for the next few days. But it looks like our Thanksgiving holiday weekend should be turning out perfect weather-wise, which I'll explain more about that in just a little bit but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at those current temperatures right now we are seeing at the moment in uh, central florida and as you can see right now we basically are sitting in the mid 60s especially if you live up north of orlando perhaps here in the metro we got temperatures in the upper 60s but if you notice here in around sanford uh you're the only city that are seeing temperatures right now in the low 70s and again changes are going to be on the way as we head into the overnight as our strong cold front Pushes, pushes through central Florida. And speaking of cooler and chilly temperatures, let's go ahead and take a look at the timing of when that will arrive, the front that is, and how cool and chilly is going to get for the next few days with future cast. And as always, folks, before we move on to future cast, if you're just popping into Facebook Live on this Monday evening, I do not mind if you could uh, go ahead and share uh, this live feed to your Facebook uh, your Facebook followers, because you know my motto, that is sharing is caring. And before we also move on, I'm going to go ahead and also share this uh, feed to my other Facebook pages. So as always, hang on just a minute, and we will, again, look and see how cool it is going to be in Chile, that is, with, uh, again, with Featurecast. And I see Mike Pierce just popped in just now, or just a minute ago, I should say, in the house. Good to have you, sir. Hope you are doing well. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> so here's a look at it again with the uh, feature cast. And uh, as we head into the rest of tonight, again, we'll see this uh, strong front roll through central Florida. So it may not be until by overnight that we'll see this uh, front uh, move into our viewing area. And this means as we head into daybreak tomorrow, it's going to feel pretty chilly. We're talking about temperatures not just in the low 50s, but we're talking about maybe some mid to upper 40s to begin with as we head into tomorrow morning. So, yes, a jacket and a sweater will likely be needed before you head, before you head out the door, uh, at, least if, at least if you have to work or if you have school tomorrow. Yes, you definitely need to uh, layer up because it will be feeling, again, pretty chilly. And after a chilly start to the day tomorrow, as we head into the afternoon, unfortunately, temperature is not going to warm up that much as, we, only, as we, we may only get up into the upper 50s, which is not that warm, and perhaps in the low to mid 60s. So, yes, jackets and sweaters will likely be needed, not just for the morning, but perhaps throughout the day tomorrow. At least we'll see some sunshine, which is a good thing, but it'll just be, but it'll just be the temperatures that will not be warming up again that much. So just, uh, again, layer up if you got some plans outdoors uh, for your Tuesday. And as we head into the evening hours, as we approach 7 o'clock, it looks like we'll see temperatures drop from the 60s down into the low 50s and upper 40s. So, again, you may need to layer up if you've got plans outdoors for your evening hours uh, as we head into Tuesday. And then as we head into the rest of the nighttime hours, late tomorrow night and early Wednesday, it looks like we'll start off into another chilly one. But it is, it is possible that if you live up around portions of Marion County, whether it's uh, either in or the city or outside of the city of Ocala, there is a chance that you could see some upper 30s for the first time as we head to Wednesday morning. So, and so if this 
happens if you live in parts of Marion County, if Marion County, if you do see temperatures get down into the upper 30s, there, this could be the first time that you may see some patchy frost. But other than that, most of us should be in the 40s. It'll just be another chilly start to the day on Thanksgiving Eve. But it could be a little a little warmer though for towards the coast of Interstate 95, but still not not a not really warm, with only in the 50s. And then after that, as we head into the afternoon. We will warm up into the mid to upper 60s, which is a little better, but still not a big warm up. So just uh, keep that in mind. So I think a light jacket will just be, will just be the only thing that you'll need if you got any outdoor plans on that day. And yes, we're expecting another day of mostly sunny skies. Now it is possible also that as we handed to Wednesday, that some of you could even hit at or close to 70 as we ended a midweek. And as we head towards the evening hour, so between six and seven, if you've got any plans uh, around that time frame, it looks like it'll just be just it'll just be able to, it'll just be a cool end to the day. As some of you may see temperatures drop in the upper 50s, like around Ocala, Kissimmee, uh, let's see the villages in Titusville, with others including Orlando in the low 60s. So not bad for evening plans. But again, the only thing you'll just need is just a jacket, because it'll just be on the cool side. And as we head out to the rest of the nighttime hours, late tomorrow night, or not tomorrow night, late Wednesday night, I should say, and into early Thursday, I think we'll see low temperatures get down into the low to perhaps maybe some mid 50s. So not as chilly like we'll see as we head into the next uh, few mornings. That's tomorrow and early Wednesday. So there you have it there, temperature wise. And before we get into the GFS, let's get one more look at the radar or check a check of the radar, not one more because we haven't checked it at the beginning of the speed, but let me show you that right, show you to you guys right now. And you can see, yes, we are looking dry. And I have to say, we saw some clearing early this afternoon after we had some of these uh, morning showers here in portions of central Florida, including yesterday, at least going back from, from, uh, from yesterday back, uh, back to Thursday, because that's when we saw some of these uh, on and off uh, showers. But the rain chances will stay really low, at least uh, at least little to no zero as we get through the rest of this week, including including the Thanksgiving holiday. So there you have it there. So next up we'll take a look at is the GFS. So what's going to be happening as we head into the next uh, couple of weeks, including the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, because I know all of you got some big plans, uh, probably outdoors with your uh, friends, relatives, and families. So we'll begin with Thanksgiving Day, which is on Thursday. So as we get into the day on Thursday, we'll see uh, most of us looking mostly sunny, but uh, just be aware that there could be a very small chance of a shower or two as we head into that day. Right now, it looks like there'll be a 10 to a 20 percent coverage along and east of Interstate 4. But just note that it's not going to be a washout, nothing too widespread. So just don't panic about that because this is going to be just a quick mover. But other than that, it should be mostly sunny for most of us as we head into the holiday. So just don't cancel any outdoor plans if you have some for your Thanksgiving holiday, which again, I think most of you do. But temperatures looks to be uh, warming up back to average fall or perhaps winter average uh, temperatures on the holidays. So, so it seems like we'll get back in the low to mid 70s, which is be pretty, should be a pretty nice day to get outside and enjoy, uh, I guess, the holiday with your friends and, fam uh, friends and families. So, so that'll be nice to see some civilities to return for that holiday. And even perhaps uh, if we go up towards the north in the Mississippi Valley, it looks like temperatures will be milder in the low to mid 60s. But notice up here to the north and west where my arrow is at, that could be another cold front that's going to roll in at least by the time we get into the second half of the holiday weekend, which you'll see the next trends in just a second or so. Right, so after that uh, ends Thanksgiving, we enter Black Friday. Plan on doing some Christmas holiday shopping on that day. Again, most of us should be looking uh, pretty dry with lots of sunshine. But if you, again, if you live just right along the coast of Brevard County, I can't rule out maybe a brief coastal shower or two. 
But other than that, other than that, it should be another perfect day at least to get outside if you're planning on doing that, especially whether if you're going to be doing some Black Friday shopping or not. But again, this is the uh, next system that's going to be producing some showers across Alabama and Mississippi, but that's also going to be ahead of another front that's going to roll through by the week, by the second half of our holiday weekend. Again, you'll see some of these uh, trends in just a minute. So here is the hot. So here are the high temperatures for temperatures for the day on Friday, and it looks like uh, just ahead of the next front, we'll be looking to be pretty nice. So as you can see, that will be mo will be mostly in the low to mid seventies as we head into uh, Black Friday. So it should be again a pretty nice day to get outside and enjoy another. Uh, I guess you could call it another fall like day, but. As the once the front passes through the Mississippi Valley region, just behind it, of course, that's going to bring some more chilly air back into uh, that region, with only highs dropping to the upper 40s and perhaps into the low 50s. All right. Now, what about the second half of our Thanksgiving weekend? As we get into Saturday of next weekend, November 27th, I believe we'll see that uh, same next cold front push through central Florida. And that will, of course, you know, lead, lead into some more dry weather. And as we uh, take a look at those high temperatures, and as you can see, it's going to turn a bit cooler again once the uh, second front passes through. And it looks like it looks like it'll be just a dry front, then uh, some wet weather ahead of it. But yeah. But yeah, we'll see uh, front number two roll through our state, and, that's, and this means the temperatures will get down cooler as temperatures drop from the mid 70s down into the 60s, and maybe some flirting around at or uh, or near 70 degrees as we approach that day. And it looks like it'll be more cooler up north to go into the Mississippi Valley as highs will only reach into the 50s to perhaps at or near 60 as we head into that day. All right, now here is Sunday of next weekend, November 28th, and in the end, so we're expecting another dry day here in Central Florida with more sunshine. And perhaps farther, far, farther back to the west you go, there's a, there's a system that could produce some uh, some possible showers near the Gulf Coast, including the Louisiana Gulf Coast region. But other than that, uh, no worries here again for the rest of the southeast as we're expecting more of sunshine and perhaps drier conditions. And it's going to be another cool one also as we head into Sunday as highs remain in the mid to upper 60s. And maybe some, again, flirting at or near 70. It looks like temperatures could start to warm back up just a little bit uh, into the 60s uh, up around the lower half of the Mississippi Valley. And perhaps it'll be still in the 50s if you go farther north up towards Birmingham and perhaps as far north as you go towards the Tennessee Valley region. Right here is early next week. This takes you a week from today, Monday, November 29th. And, and again, you can tell that we're expecting another dry and mostly sunny day in central Florida, not just for here in the state, but of course, elsewhere in the southeast portions of our nation. And yes, it'll be another cool one, not just for Saturday and Sunday, but perhaps into Monday of next week, as we will stay mainly in the mid 60s, perhaps upper 60s as well as we approach that day. And of course, if we go north, it'll be a little more cooler where highs will be staying in the mid to upper 50s and perhaps some hitting at or close to 60 degrees as we head into that day. And here is a week from tomorrow that takes you to Tuesday, the final day of November. That's the 30th, of course, and you can see much of the southeast, even here, of course, in central Florida, looks to stay mainly dry and mostly sunny. Temperatures for highs down below, again, it appears to stay on the cooler side with only in the mid to upper 60s and perhaps some again hitting at or near 70 as we head into that day. And perhaps there'll be some more 60s uh, up here in the Mississippi Valley. So looking pretty mild. Well, actually, I should say mainly average or slightly cooler than average as we head into the next uh, coming days. That's this weekend into the first half of next week. All right, now here is next Wednesday, the first day of December, and 
Again, looking to see another dry day across the southeast, even here in central Florida with more mostly sunny skies. And as we take a look at those temperatures, and it looks like we may see things warm up a bit. So instead of seeing mid-60s on Wednesday of next week, we'll warm up into the upper 60s, especially if you live up in north and west of Orlando and perhaps others, including the city, in the low to mid 70s. So at least it'll be a little bit, at least it'll be a, somewhat better as we approach the first day of the new month. But if you need some more cooler weather, you may have to go north because highs will be mostly in the upper 50s and into the mid 60s as we head into that day. <clears throat> All right, now here is uh, Thursday, December 2nd. Still, no signs of any significant systems to worry about here across the southeast, even here in central Florida, as more sunshine continues. And uh, take a look at our high temperatures, and it looks like we'll continue to warm things up back to where we should be for this time of year in the low to mid 70s. But notice there's if you notice here up north, there may be another front, another cold front that is that can make its way to the southeast, but it'll be still north of our state. And that's going to bring some cooler and definitely some chilly air with only highs in the 40s and perhaps into the 50s, uh, especially anywhere across most of Georgia and perhaps back into the Carolinas. So, yeah, it could be a chilly one, at least for uh, that part as we head into the end of next week. But for us, weather-wise or temperature-wise here in our state looks to stay perfectly good. But as we enter the land of Voodoo country, this takes you to Friday, December 3rd, and a little bit of rain could try to make a return to central Florida, but we're not talking about like a widespread chance of rain. We'll just call it for now a 30% coverage of isolated showers uh, as we head into that day. But of course, still got a little more time to watch the models closely because, you know, we're in the land of Voodoo country, so it can still change. And for temperatures, it looks like it will still be looking perfect as we stay in the 60s and into the mid 70s right here in central Florida. And perhaps it'll be milder if you go up north where highs will be sticking around in the 60s. I mean, perhaps as far south as the Gulf states, like around the panhandle of Florida, all the way back towards New Orleans. It could be a little warmer in the low 70s to end, uh, not this week, but into next week. And here is Saturday, December 4th. Still, some more showers will continue, but again, it's just an isolated coverage. So we'll give it just a 30% uh, chance of some showers uh, possible as we approach the day on the 4th. But again, it's too early to tell, so we'll, I'll keep you posted. But it looks like, but it looks like it's going to turn uh, even more warmer as we head into that day. So after a cooler into November and perhaps into the start of the 1st of December, we're going to see temperatures warm back in the upper 70s and perhaps some low 80s. So, so that's uh, better, I guess you can say, if you're a big fan of that, as we approach on the day on the, of the 4th. And perhaps the same thing will, ha will also happen across the Mississippi Valley, where there'll be some upper 60s and into the mid 70s. So we'll see. But again, it's just too early to, to say what will happen. But just uh, keep an eye on the forecast uh, as we head into the next uh, coming coming days for any changes, but maybe we'll see some better warm weather. All right, the GFS does take you to Sunday, December 5th. And again, it could be just a few, one or two isolated showers in portions of central Florida, but we're not expecting a total washout since the rain chances will be isolated in this body, but otherwise it looks like it should be mostly sunny and dry in most spots. And it's going to be turning more warmer. So instead of seeing 70s, we'll think, I think we'll see all of us uh, hit the low 80s as we head into the day on Sunday the 5th. But if, if you need a little more cool weather, again, the best, the best place will be up a little bit north in the Mississippi Valley, where there'll be some upper 60s and into the mid-70s. So, yep, could be a warm start to the first weekend of December in the southeast, including, including right here in our state, if that is the case. Now, as we get into two weeks to, from two weeks from today, that is, this takes you to Monday, December 6th, and it seems like we'll be seeing, or it looks like we could be seeing another storm system 
that's up to the north and west that could bring some more rain, at least a good chance for some rain, and maybe if, if not, some thunderstorms in the Mississippi Valley. But ahead of it, though, we'll still be looking to stay mainly dry. Could be maybe a few showers according to, according to what the GFS is showing for portions of northwestern Marion County, and that could be ahead of another cold front if that is the case. So that's something we'll again keep an eye out, but it's just too early to say. And way ahead of this cold front, look at this. Look at those temperatures by Monday, December sixth. It's going to turn even more warmer, and if that's the case, it may feel like uh, it may feel like somewhat, somewhat like summer again which is kind of late for that in December. We don't see temperatures like uh, that much warm uh, for at least the winter season, but sometimes it can. But again, we're two weeks away and it could change. But for now, it shows that highs could reach as, as warm as the mid 80s as we approach that day. But again, the more coolest weather, still you know a bit milder, of course, will be mostly up in the Mississippi Valley where there'll be some 60s and 70s. So since that temperature could be warm enough to produce some thunderstorms for the Mississippi Valley by the 6th of December, if we go ahead and take a look at the instability. And it does show some signs that there could be some strong to severe storms that may form across the valley as we approach that day. But again, we are two weeks off and of course it's just still too early to make a call on this. And that's why that, uh, I call, it the, I call it the land of voodoo, and it's likely that it could change as we head closer to the uh, first full week of the new month. That same system that will, will produce some showers, a better chance of showers, and maybe a few thunderstorms as we, head into two week, as we head into two weeks from tomorrow. That's on Tuesday, December 7th. So we'll call it for now just a 50% coverage of scattered showers and maybe a couple of storms Right now, it looks to be just to the north and west of the metro Orlando area, al along with that uh, same front. And for temperatures, it looks like, again, it will stay mainly warm, very warm, that is, with, with uh, low to mid 80s all across the entire state. And still much milder if you go north as, as far as Alabama and points east, will there be some, where there'll be some 70s and low 80s. But there is the, but there's the cold front right there where my arrow is, uh, you know, moving. And right behind it, as it moves through parts of parts of the Mississippi Valley, the western part of the valley, that is, that's going to bring temperatures back much cooler from the 70s down into the 50s and low 60s. But again, since we're going to see a better shot of some rain for portions of our state by the day on Tuesday, December 7th, if we go ahead and turn on the instability. And it does show that we could see a few strong, maybe even a few isolated severe storms. But remember, it's too it's too early to make a call on this since we since this is two weeks away. So that's why that uh, uh, it will likely change as we get closer. So I'll definitely keep you posted on that. And it looks like more rain could continue as the GFS trend ends through Wednesday, December 8th. And it looks like the rain chances will still pretty much be on the scattered uh, scattered in nature side. So we'll say about a 50% uh, chance for now of some showers and perhaps a few thunderstorms in our state. At least, of course, if this is correct, we could use maybe some more rain. That's a good thing since that we're in dry season. And I believe that same cold front is going to drive through uh, central Florida as we approach that day, and that's going to uh, drop temperatures from the 80s down into the 60s, if that is the case as we approach that day. But if you go much farther north into the Mississippi Valley, chilly air does return as highs get back down into the 40s and into the low 50s. So there you pretty much have it here, guys. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and end this live Facebook feed. So I expect to have the next uh, live Facebook update for at least for the weather in Central Florida uh, tomorrow night, same time at 8 p.m. And I'll continue as always by posting my poster my notes or updates in my blog and social media pages 24/7. But in the meantime, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your the rest of your Monday evening. Remember to uh, take care of yourselves and each other, and God bless.